What's up Jujutsu nerds, welcome back to the Matrix channel. Here we have Bruno and Georgi. Georgi is a super fresh white belt, but doing very well, getting better very quick. And um, yeah, let's see what what we're about to um, analyze here. Um, headquarters position, quick pass. I assume he's gonna um, isolate the arm. That is already trapped here. Georgi needs to work, like every white belt needs to work on keeping his arms tight, his limbs to his body, so they cannot be easily isolated. So here Bruno go, uh, tries to go for head and arm choke. <clears throat> As you can see, Georgi knows and tries a, a kind of a telephone escape. And Bruno likes to use the, the head and arm triangle as a dilemma, like he either takes the back or chokes you. And here he gets even a grip of the wrist and is able to um, take the back from here, slide his knee very high and then take the back. And he had wrist con uh, knuckle control uh, with the left hand with the underhook arm right away so he could sink in his right choke arm, cover it with his uh, chin, then sink in the second arm, hand over hand, very important. And get the choke, <clears throat> now Georgi's passing. And here's something we discussed earlier. Um, you should never grab, if you're passing, you should never grab somebody's head for no reason. Especially not if they have inside position. As you can see here, Bruno has inside position. Georgi tries to do the right thing and pummel his legs here. It's, it's the right thing, but he grabs his uh, Bruno's head. So all that Bruno has to do is um, off balance him a little bit and get a, a sweep here. Gets a butterfly sweep here. <clears throat> Sumigashi or however you want to call it. Um, Bruno says very low. If you, if you look at Bruno's passing style, he's very low now. Now he goes up. I mean, of course, um, he knows Georgi is, is a beginner, so he can play around. Again, his, his arm gets isolated. Um, okay, very interesting here. That's a triangle setup we use a lot. Bruno decides to go for rear triangle here. So look. Um, he isolates his arm, then he switches to grip, look at Bruno's right arm, and his left arm goes uh, under the head, under the neck, and then under the armpit. That creates a ton of pressure, and it's impossible to avoid what just happened. Uh, the right leg swings over, uh, and Bruno is able to get the mounted triangle. Uh, here he switches to a rear triangle. Maybe Georgi was turning in this direction. That's a good option. To do that if the other guy is not way bigger than you. <clears throat> Georgi still has the arm inside. He's in the stage. Actually, if you roll with him, we had people saying that rolled with him like two months ago. They said like, what the heck are you giving your white belts? He's already pretty good. Um, I mean, Bruno is high level, so don't be fooled here. Georgi is good for the amount of time he trains. But of course, um, tons of mistakes which is your job as a white belt right um there's never a stage in your jiu-jitsu career when you do so many mistakes and it's that's good because you learn from everything nice switch from the reverse triangle to the uh, regular triangle that's something i thought about lately a lot um, so often you you have to switch back and forth between the the two and if the head is very low, you can switch from a reverse to a normal triangle very easily. Just have to be careful if the head goes has pressure up. So yeah, thanks for watching. As you know, we post pretty consistent uh, lately. So please subscribe to the channel. It's free. You help us out. Click the notification bell and um, follow us on Instagram. We post tons of videos there too. Stay tuned. Us.